Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Firas Budiab. I am uh, the chair of the Young Engineers Group for Leaders at the World Federation of Engineering Organization. Today, we're having a webinar with our partner, Project Catalyst. This webinar will focus on uh, engineering uh, practices, engineering challenges, and we'll be giving uh, certain uh, descriptions and certain topics about the issues uh, which are interested for the interesting for the uh, young generations uh, and project webinar project catalyst will be uh, giving uh, yeah, this uh, this webinar on putting uh, the content uh, in in an, in an aim to have uh, proper partnerships and future partnerships between uh, our groups our different standing committees and uh, you know, policy implementation committees also between our national members and individual bases with Project Catalyst. This group is an interesting uh, young group who are working uh, or studying in the field of engineering. They address uh, you know, certain uh, challenges and uh, future topics which are related to the uh, world of engineering. Uh, probably uh, we need now to uh, just uh, start with an introduction slides for the WFO and I can be uh, asked to, uh, to share the presentation from your side so to give a brief introduction about uh, WFEO and the uh, work of uh, WFEO and in particular the work of the young engineers future leaders. Please Ivan, can you share from your side or Roman? Awesome. Um, Mr. Farah, should I go ahead and share my screen? Just please uh, show your screen. Sure. Okay. Great. Do you want to start? So, yeah, uh, thank you, Roman. So uh, this is an informative webinar on the initiatives which are held by Project Catalysts. And uh, looking forward for uh, global partnerships, Project Catalyst in the uh, introduction and meeting with uh, the Young Engineers Future Leaders Committee decided to present their uh, work, their potentials, and they're looking forward for uh, future uh, collaborations. Uh, that's so. The presentation will be based basically between uh, uh, myself. I will be giving the introduction, and uh, Jeevan Spencer also will be. Uh, he's the PC Outreach Executive and Vice President. Raman, who is the PC co-founder and CEO, and uh, Shraktish Lokanda, who is the PC Go Jobs chapter uh, lead. They will be uh, uh, presenting afterwards. Next, please. So, uh, as we all know, this is uh, the WFEO. The WFEO is a big body for a uh, professional engineering organization. It was founded like more than 50 years ago in 1968 under the auspices of the UNESCO. We have more than 100 plus national uh, professional engineering institutions part of WFEO. We have more than 12 international and regional professional engineering institutions, and we proudly represent more than 40 million engineers. Next, please. Uh, WFEO also co chair the major science and technology group of UN. We have a uh, good representation at different groups in the major UN organizations, and our headquarters are based in Paris at the UNESCO. Next, please. The Young Engineers Future Leader Committee is a policy implementation committee. Uh, it's a motivated team of young engineers. They work voluntary, and they are basically giving, uh, coming from different nas national organizations from all over the globe. Uh, we are trying to uh, acknowledge the work of uh, young engineers, and we are trying always to enable a sustainable ecosystem to provide support, resources, and a platform for young engineers in the WFO community and the wider community uh, by highlighting the role that young engineers are doing basically in, in achieving the different UN sustainable development goals. This is basically a brief what we do. And now uh, I will leave it to uh, the team of Project Catalyst to uh, present their work and uh, their, uh, the next slide. Thank you. 
Great. Thank you so much. So um, I can quickly go over exactly um, who we are as, a, as um, an organization and what we believe in. So um, our organization was mainly founded upon a group of students who were um, coming from all different types of backgrounds and from all across all different schools in um, the U.S. And we had this innate desire to um, create an organization where we can provide easy access for um, students to access STEM educational resources. Um, so that includes from biotechnology to engineering. Those are like our main focuses. Um, and we're doing this to help enhance their careers and provide them a stepping platform um, to get those access to those materials and education um, through a variety of resources. So why we did this is because, like we said, we noticed in our communities that there was limited access to STEM education, um, particularly in certain schools. They would offer certain um, classes and certain um, different activities to help students prepare for that, but not all schools would do that. So we wanted to just provide um, a uniform platform for everyone um, to be able to pursue STEM in their careers. So we have three main current initiatives that Project Catalyst is currently running right now. So the first one is our LMS online courses. LMS stands for Learning Management System. And what we have for that is essentially on our website, um, which is going a little bit under uh, maintenance right now, but essentially on our website, what's happening is we have a series of online courses um, for in engineering and biotechnology um, that are high school and not even high school, I would say college level um, curriculum. And essentially what is in those courses is free access for students to learn about these different subjects and they can like pace themselves. They can um, go through any units they want in any order. Um, and we have this free access for students um, to access um, curriculum. The second thing is we have hands-on accredited workshops. So we've hosted a variety of workshops and we're gonna go over the organizations who we've worked with, um, but we've hosted a variety of workshops for students um, across uh, the US. And finally, we have a Girls Empowered initiative that we're just getting started right now, but it's essentially targeting um, underrepresented, underrepresented youth um, fem uh, youth um, in like the female sector who do not have as much access to STEM compared to other sectors. So we wanna provide them access as well. So we're starting those initiatives. And um, here is a brief like overview of like some of the pictures that we have from our workshops. We've worked with um, Georgia Tech and we've even worked with um, other libraries as well. And um, I can present this as well. So uh, the past and present partnerships, like I said, we've worked with Georgia Tech. Um, we've worked with um, Teach STEM Africa. We're working with Teach STEM Africa right now. Um, Girls Inc. we're also working with right now. And we worked with American Indian Science and Engineering Society as well as Alameda County Libraries. Do you want to go ahead? Yeah, so our current engineering workshops. Um, our current engineering workshops are catered to uh, serve university students and upcoming engineers. And what we do is we introduce more complex principles and current innovations in the field that are that we want to like we want to spark heavy interest within like our young engineers, right? So what we do is we teach them stuff outside the school, outside the school background. And um it's not as feasible, but it's still possible through an online format. That's how we want to possibly collaborate with some of the organizations through the WFEO and see if we can get cater our workshops to other types of engineers as well. Um, for our biotechnology seminars, um, we wanna cater our biotechnology, biotechnology seminars as well to university students and upcoming engineers. This, these, would be, these would focus on um, exposing the students to more complex biotechnology uh, principles such as PCRs, protein folding, CRISPR, and what we want to do is again we want to take we want to teach them stuff that they usually don't learn like in school or in like an academic field and this is also still very feasible through an online format and we're possibly looking to collaborate with other organizations through the F WFEO to see if we can host these through their platform as well and i would also just like to add that because um biotechnology is a growing field in itself um even for people who are already in the engineering field like we said before um, it would just be like a great opportunity for them to expose themselves to other career options in case they're really interested in, let's say, bioinformatics that they never discovered before. So that's what we're trying to do in these possible collaborations. Shop, just want to go ahead? Yeah. So another possible collaboration is our computer science workshops. These are just workshops dedicated to teaching engineers how to program effectively. And depending on industry requirements, we could uh, uh, teach different types of languages from Python to Java. And this is because industries have given growing technical demand with AI. So this would equip engineers with necessary technical skills that they wouldn't be able to get in like schools or other academic fields. 
And lastly, we would have mentorship seminars, which would host workshops where guest speakers are brought in from various professional and research fields, which would allow students to get um, hand in, stay in tune with current advancements in science and technology from actual professionals. And this would also provide a great opportunity for networking and building their careers and seeing what they could step into with their careers by speaking to an adult or person that has professional uh, experience. Now we're open for a Q&A. So now we can take a look at the questions or... Okay, thank you very much for this uh, informative uh, uh, presentation. Uh, probably uh, this presentation will go uh, basically uh, on the offline uh, channels of the WFO, on the website and uh, social media. Uh, basically, uh, Ivan will be sharing also the uh, Google document for any questions from other partners, from uh, national members and from other interesting groups for uh, future collaborations. Uh, we leave it there and then uh, we will collect these uh, questions and then we will uh, send it to you and we will show it together. And uh, looking forward to uh, possible collaborations with uh, different groups. Thank you very much for your uh, time and for this uh, interesting uh, presentation.